Hello and welcome to this little video tutorial where I will show you how to create a basic subsurface scattering material inside of Blender and Octane. So as you can see over here we have the, our rendered view and we see the translucent effect um, on certain areas of the mesh. Um, so we don't need many nodes for that so it's a quite simple material um, and you don't have to worry about that, but of course we have to tweak some things in order to see the effect um, on our model. So first step, I will delete all of that. Um, and if I now add in with Shift A, uh, universal material that we plug into the surface of our object, we can see that we have a basic white texture or material on our object. And in order for this to work, we have to set this universal material from specular to diffuse. And this is the first step, really important. It doesn't really work if you don't. So the next step is that we will add a transmission. And to do that, we just click on the little plus over here and go down to Octane Textures and we will select the RGB color. Now we have added this texture or this node um, to our node tree and this is plugged into the transmission automatically. So this is already set to white, that is really important. And now we will change our albedo down to black from white. And as you can see over here, on the left we now have a translucent effect happening. But of course we don't have that much control over how strong this effect is and we will add this now. So if we go down the universal material a bit, you will see that there is a medium connector down here and this is where we will add something to our universal material. Press, press Shift A and search for a random walk. Over here we have the random walk node and we will put it over here and plug it into the medium. So now you can see that the translucent effect has disappeared, but don't worry, we will change some settings in this node and it will reappear. So first we have the albedo. This is where you plug in basically the either color that your object should have, or you plug in your texture that your object should have. And in my case, we will keep it simple, no textures, um, but we will change the color to something darker in order to see the translucent effect from the subsurface scattering a little bit better in a second. Um, so the next is the radius, and the radius is basically what color um, your subsurface has. So in my case, I will put it to red, easy to see, and uh, maybe this is some kind of flesh or blood um, underneath the skin of the object. So um, as you can see, there is nothing happening yet. In order to see the effect, we need to pull down our density. The density is basically how strong the subsurface scattering effect is. And um, if we pull this down to around 45, you can see the subsurface scattering happening over here on these. So there's our translucency. If I change our radius now to something blue, you can see that we have a blue subsurface shining through. So I will put it back to red. And um, if we pull our density further down to around 12, you can see that the subsurface scattering is happening now as well on our the eyebrows and the chin. And the effect is even stronger on our ears because they are the thinnest part of our object. So this is basically it. Um, you can modify the whole universal material further to your likings. And of course, at, um, like normally, basically with every material, you can plug in bump map, normal map, uh, even displacement maps and um, yeah, play with the material itself. And of course, with the random walk where you put your image texture in here and uh, yeah, you basically can tweak the texture to your likings. 
that would be it for this tutorial. I hope I could help you a little bit with how um, subsoft scattering works inside of Octane. If you have any questions, um, ask them in the comments. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you like. So see you next time.